Today on Tri Curl Studios, we talk about why I bought my 2010 Fender American Deluxe Stratocaster. And because it's a Stratocaster video, we'll lose two subscribers and we'll get more than the regular one thumbs down we get on all of our videos. Breaks my heart because it's a button on the internet. How you doing, Derek? So we started off with a very simple uh, sound sample, basically the neck pickup on uh, the Fender American Deluxe Stratocaster, which is a reason to always buy a Strat, like you just go to the neck pickup. And then uh, the lead channel on the Mesa Boogie Mark IV with the gain dialed back, which is one of my most favorite sounds ever. And just a heads up, I hate talking in videos, so this one here might be a little choppy, because uh, I might do a bit of editing. All right, first things first. Uh, if you've been subscribed to the channel, you'll probably notice that I've been playing a lot of uh, strats and a lot of gretches lately. And that's basically because I've been trying to buy amp heads so I can play a lot of metal. And uh, the amp manufacturers just, they keep delaying and delaying and delaying and delaying amps. Um, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of different things, just kind of, um, it's just something that's bringing me joy lately to not play metal, uh, but I'll be playing metal in the future, just waiting on some amps. So basically, uh, I keep looking for different amps uh, coming up, but they're freaking expensive. Uh, some amps that like one or two summers ago were like two or three hundred dollars used, like the Valve Kings from PV and the PV Windsor. Uh, people are now selling them for like six hundred dollars. They're listing them for $600. They're still two or $300 amps. People don't want to buy them. Uh, so yeah, I've been like looking for different amps. Uh, and one of the places that I always look is Stan Guitars. They have no idea who I am or the channel is. It, it's basically, they're like, oh, that Ryan guy who buys a guitar or like once or twice a month, he bought another guitar, that kind of a deal. Uh, so I was looking on Stan Guitars, basically looking at different amps and stuff like that. And this popped up, and this really piqued my interest, so I did what I always do. I was like, I want to find out about this guitar. And I went to YouTube, and I typed in stuff, and there's not a lot of videos on it, except there's one from Greg Koch, which always makes me very, very happy. And uh, he was talking about the schwiddly diddlies and stuff like that, and I don't know if he said gristle or gristle time. But uh, he talked about the S1 switch which reminded me of the Push Push that's on my uh, Fender American Professional 2 that I bought at Stan Guitars a month ago. <laughs> uh, I have a problem. <clears throat> uh, but basically the Push Push, what it does is it adds the neck pickup in position one and position two, so you can have all three, or the bridge and the neck, similar to like a Telecaster or what have you, um, to the sound. 
I thought that was fantastic. So I basically kept looking and looking and looking for stuff. There's not a lot of videos out there. Um, but basically the fact that this is a three uh, color sunburst guitar, uh, even though I would prefer rosewood, uh, and the fact that it has the S1 switch on it, and I'm a gear nerd, I, I basically bought it. Uh, one of the cool things with it is it kind of might fool people into thinking that it's my 75th anniversary commemorative Stratocaster, but it's not. So I know in, in future videos, if I use both of them, you're like, you use the same guitar twice. Does it really matter? Not really. But unlike my 75th anniversary commemorative Stratocaster, uh, this was before they actually did the the like satin finish on the neck and the fretboard. Uh, so this has has that like gloss feel to it, or slight gloss, I guess you would say, feel to it. Um, but gloss on the front of the fretboard, which easier to clean the fretboard, uh, but it's a little more comfortable, I think. Uh, at least that's what my mind is telling me right now. Than my uh, or sorry, with the satin one. One of the other reasons that drew me to this guitar was actually the saddles. Uh, so the saddles are actually, I don't know if you call them the old style saddles. They're not like the, the ones that are on there that are like... Uh, but they're the basically the same saddle that's on my 40th anniversary Stratocaster. Um, although the newer ones are a little shinier. Uh, but I find these, I don't know why, uh, they're a little more comfortable. I don't know if it's maybe just the way that I sometimes rest my hand on the bridge. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice that it's kind of similar to this one here. It also has the cutaway or the like little beveled edge on the heel of the neck um, or the neck pocket or what have you. Uh, so if you're going up, it feels like this much more comfortable. Uh, that's something that personally, I it's cool, I guess, but it's not that big of a seller to me. We also have the Fender locking tuners on here. Um, which I used to love locking tuners. They're very handy for string changes. Um, and of course it lessens the amount of wraps that uh, go around the posts. So that's always great because it does actually help with tuning stability. Um, but I don't know. Ever since kind of switching back over to Gibson guitars uh, where they don't have the locking tuners unless I buy them and put them on, which I haven't been doing lately, um, I'm kind of liking the non-locking. Um, makes maybe this much of a difference to me, um, but it's just something that I've preferred lately. Okay, so the last thing with this guitar here uh, is the fact that it has the Generation 3 noiseless pickups. I haven't ever owned a Fender with noiseless pickups. I don't even think I've ever owned a guitar with noiseless pickups. So it's my uh, first experience with it, and I've done a little bit of work with this guitar so far and it's like this much noticeable um so yeah basically if you want to talk about it here let's sum things up uh why did i buy the guitar because i found it for sale uh and it seemed very interesting and mr greg cock made it appealing to me to purchase this guitar and uh i've been really looking to buy either another amp or a guitar all right, so there you go. That's basically the video. There's a, just basically an excuse for me to uh, make a video with my new guitar here. Um, I do want to say that there will be metal videos coming out uh, in the future. It's not something that I've like ran away from. Uh, I bought a blue voodoo, a blue doo-doo, if you will. Uh, Kevin actually has that right now. He's making a video with it, and he's going to ship it out for me. And I've been actively trying to hunt down different high gain amps um, that can do both like metal and, and non metal kind of a deal. And uh, of course, my Marshall Silver Jubilee, which I'm still waiting on. It's been delayed another two months. Uh, but once that comes in, I think once that comes in, I'll probably, that'll give me the push that I really need um, to make more uh, shootouts and metal videos. So, adios, muchachos. And uh, I say good day.